Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this video is going to be all about the plugins that I use. It's been highly requested. You guys always want to know how I kind of build so fast and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you all the plugins that I use that I think will really help you to develop your games. Um, some may, some may not. Um, it depends really what you want to do. But before we get into the video, make sure to like the video as it pushes my videos further into the algorithm. And uh, you know, it supports me more and it motivates me to make more videos. But other than that, let's get into my plugins. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the main plugin that I use, which is called Building Tools by F3X. Now, this is my go-to plugin as it li literally makes any, uh, any like moving, scaling, anything like that completely like faster. You can use keybinds. As far as I'm aware, um, if I place a part down and I use these typical uh, Roblox tools here, you, you can't use a keybind to change to move. As far as I'm aware anyways. So I'd have to go all the way up here. Click this button. And then move. Rotate. And you get the idea. And then I need to go up here to change the studs. Uh, and it's basically hidden up on the top left corner. Which I'm not really a big fan of. So if I use building tools by F3X. I can literally just click this. And the buttons on the side here will literally tell me the key binds for all the uh, key aspects that I need. So move would be the... Uh, Z keybind and then X would be scale C would be rotate and then you have all these other options here Which I just I mainly use these three and then I can obviously change the increments here And you can also adjust the position. It just makes life a lot easier So for example, I can just cont uh, control D to duplicate you can scale you can rotate instantly You know it makes uh, building a lot faster or editing a mesh It's just so much faster than using your typical like uh, uh tools up here and i recommend that like when you get used to it you're going to become really fast at you know creating any kind of building all that kind of stuff uh so i really highly recommend you guys get into using f3x over these standard uh roblox tools here you also get uh everything kind of put in front of you so you can obviously change the scale in both directions so if i move it down this end it will move it down the other end which helps with uh, making like symmetrical uh you know things as you can scale it evenly on each side you can also change the increments uh so you can go down by whatever studs this is as you can see so yeah it just makes life a lot easier i highly recommend you guys use it this is my main go-to plugin that I use for literally everything studio related. To put it into practical uh, use real quick, I'm going to use this old map that I made in a previous video. and show you kind of like um, how fast uh, I can literally just duplicate and rotate and all that kind of stuff. So I select, let's say one tree. I can just press Control D, Z to move, drag it down, rotate, all this kind of stuff and it will do it super fast so it makes uh, tedious tasks like copy and paste and thing i don't really like using the brush tool too much as it uh you know um you know you get less uh, input into how the assets are placed and stuff like that and then if you need to you can just use this scale tool to scale it smaller okay so the next plugin i use sometimes it's very situational for me uh, but if you make simulator maps and stuff like that it makes life easier uh and um you can use it with other maps, but I don't usually use it with the smooth terrain as uh, assets do tend to float a little bit. Um, they can't detect the ground that well. Um, but essentially, you just click the tool or the plugin, and then you click any asset in your viewport, and then you can just click add, and then it will add them onto the list of uh, assets you can paint down. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a few of these assets in here. And then now you can click, uh, you can adjust all the uh, settings here. And you can kind of, uh, you know, ignore water, ignore invisible parts, I think that means. And then you can increase the radius and the space in between the assets. And then you can go ahead and activate. And all your selected assets here will paint on the uh, ground, basically. And now you can, pretty sure if you deselect some, yep. So you will uh, deselect them and it will only place these two now. So whatever's highlighted blue is your active uh, assets and is what's being painted on the ground. So it's very handy uh, when it comes to huge projects and stuff like that. Although it's very situational for me personally, as uh, if you place them on 
rocks and stuff like that they tend to float as you can see now this is a mesh so it kind of uh, can't detect the collisions as well but you get the idea okay so i'm going to run through the next few plugins quite fast as they're somewhat simple so we have the uh, the scaling tool here which essentially allows you to scale any asset um evenly on each side so it keeps its kind of uh its uh its scale but it just increases the overall size so you don't have like um if you let's say use the normal scale tool let me disable the plugin real quick and use the normal scale tool as you can see you know it's it's difficult to get the uh the correct shape back after you've resized it so essentially the scale tool just uh prevents that from happening as you can see so it's very simple and certain uh, assets that you import like meshes and stuff like that won't be able to scale down past a certain size but you can um use this plugin to kind of counteract that so for the next plugin we have the gap fill which is pretty common i think you guys know what it is so you just place two parts here and essentially the gap fill tool will um work out what needs to go in certain positions based on these arrows so you select these two edges here and you can fill in um awkward corners uh you know awkward uh, roof corners and all that kind of stuff um is handy when making buildings and stuff like that and then the third one is the 3d text if i disable this i can activate cursor here and now i can place text here and now you can change the the um the font to whatever you want and you can change the text to whatever you want and then you just go ahead and edit the color and you know the thickness and all that kind of stuff so super simple i use it just to make signs and stuff like that um not very situational so you know it's not really that important okay so the last plugin is very situational for me personally as i'm a youtuber um you guys may not find this unless you do youtube videos or you want like a trailer uh, for your game or something like that or even a cutscene within your game it's, it's very situational but very very handy and it's the cutscene plugin so you'd type in a anything you want to name this specific cutscene you click create scene the pop-up will appear you just click to hide it and now you can basically find a, a certain positions that you want to place the camera and then you can click capture camera position and then go to a different area where you want it to transition between this one and your current camera position and you can just click it again and then you can go ahead and click play and then it will kind of play through as you can see and you can increase the speed and stuff like that if you want but i use this for youtube videos on my devlogs and stuff like that to capture uh cool cutscenes of the builds that i made but yeah that's pretty much it for all my plugins um let me know if this helped out whether you liked any of these plugins and let me know maybe what your favorite plugin is in the comments uh down below now i do uh, i did leave out moon animator because i've literally used it once i don't know how to use it i was just experimenting i don't really use it in my kind of a, a, on a daily basis so i didn't think i should include it but thank you guys for watching yet again uh, make sure to like the video as it supports me and it pushes my videos further into the algorithm and also subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace